Hi guys, welcome to another episode of RM Brooks' store. Uh, we're serving breakfast this morning. We serve breakfast on Saturday mornings, and so come and join us and see who, who all is here on Saturday morning for breakfast. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Yeah. Guys, these are looking good. So something's happened here at Brooks's. See that? I don't know. We do that. I don't, I don't know. But these guys apparently have special treatment on uh, Saturday mornings because they have a reserve sign. And uh, I heard Frank said I had to get him a reserve sign starting next Saturday because he has a special table he likes to sit at. So anyway, so these guys are all special. Anyway, Mike included that tore up my chair. So this is Foster and uh, this is Bob and Mary Slack. And they come to, uh, how long have you been coming here? About five years. That long? Time slipped away. Somebody said something the other day. I was like, Kelly. Anyway, they've been coming to my store for a long time. And Foster has restored his relationship with the father. And uh, I was honored that Bob and Mary <laughs> asked Katie and I to pray. Because um, I think when you're praying for family members, or at least for me, you know, you guard who you have prayed for them. So Foster, I had a little thing in my car and I carried oh. it around <laughs> and his stick down there. And every time I would fumble, you know, I'd pray for him. And so thank you too. So today's the first day I've got to see him in a long time. Yeah. And so I really feel like I want us to just glorify God because he's everything, right? And so I was reminded, I was telling Foster this, I was running yesterday that praise you know, and so anyway, I just feel like so. Is that good? Yeah, thank you, Tiffany. <laughs> You're so precious. I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm so excited for anyway. So, all right, ladies. Oh, Foster, thank you for allowing us. Anyway, all right, Father, I just thank you for Foster. I thank you for his life, Father. I thank you for the things that you're going to do in the future uh, with him, Father God. The test your precious and mighty name. Amen. Thank you. You are so welcome. Thank you, Kate. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> my motorcycle up here about 50 miles from Crossville and especially to eat breakfast here and I've got this biscuits and gravy and it's the best gravy I've ever tasted and the biscuits are top notch and shoot they're pretty good size too I'm glad I came, came up here. what's your name again my name's Tim I'm glad I came yeah your first time huh yeah well I'm glad you made it up today it, I tell you what, the atmosphere here, you can't, you can't beat this atmosphere. It's just, phew, man. I'm going to have to spend about a couple hours in the store before I go home. That's right, looking around at all the that's right. stuff that's in here. You can't see it all at once, at once, you know. I've been coming for two years, and every time I come, I find something different I didn't see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got antique stuff. Yeah. All right, I'm ready. I'll take two big old smiles. You want to get closer? Get a little closer. You ain't gonna get no discount on the food. I'll pay double for it. <laughs> okay, so your names are. 
Jean. I'm Jean, that's Don, and that's Dave. All right, it's nice to meet you guys. And we're, going, and we're even going to get bologna sandwiches to go. <laughs> They're world famous. What part of Knoxville? I get them. I'm, well, I'm actually from Seymour. Okay, I know where Seymour's he, at. He's from Knoxville. He used to be from Seymour. Him and I grew up together. We've been friends for 63 years. Oh, you're, you're telling, he's from, he's from Michigan. Actually, well, I'm 68. He'd be 68. He's 73, and he rode a motorcycle here from Michigan. <laughs> Then we can take that. I'm not sorry permission. about that. <laughs> no. But I'm, I'm aching from it. <laughs> what part of Michigan are you from? Uh, up north of Detroit, it's Madison Heights. Yeah. Then Fort B and from Wartburg. Wartburg? Tennessee. Yeah. By way of uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Pennsylvania. Nice. Well. <laughs> so I'm kind of a local now. Been here local. Two years. Yeah. Okay, live in Wartburg. Live in Wartburg. Not far. Just down the road a little way. Just down the road a piece. Thank right. you from driving all the way from Michigan we, here. We, so we, we appreciate we it. We drove an hour, almost two hours to get here this morning. Yeah. It was worth it. Well, we had a mission. We had to get there, but uh, more biscuits and gravy were gone. <laughs> yes. I actually have more biscuits this morning. We made we made quite a few. Sign my book up there on the right. Are you are you getting a bloody sandwich? Make sure you give the girls the order. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, dear. Nice to Love meet you. Good meeting you. Thank you. Thank you. It's cool, isn't it? Uh, so Max and Dennis are from Germany, and uh, they actually flew into New York Correct. and rented motorcycles, and they've got two and a half weeks. Two and a half. See, I got a good memory from last night, right. and I didn't yeah. sleep in it. Two and a half weeks. They're going all over. Uh, the United States, pretty much. Yeah, well, east side of the United States. So today you guys leave and go up uh, the Dragon. No, we are not having a dragon today. So we're going to the south to actually start the Smoky Mountains. And then we're going to hit tomorrow. Yeah. 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 Especially this place here. When we came in here, we were welcomed and we felt like home. That was, was great. Yeah. You guys had... You had hamburgers last night. Yes. yes. Cheeseburger. Yeah, I got the pork walk burger. Oh, that's right, awesome. that's right. And you had two. Right. Two cheeseburgers. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I admire them. They were out there working out first thing this morning. I, I tried to get up early at 6.30 and work out, and it just didn't happen. So, <laughs> around. so anyway. Okay, well, thank you. Have safe travels while you're gone, while you're out and about. We really appreciate it. What part of Germany? We're from Berlin. Berlin, Berlin Germany, yes. Yes, oh, nice. Well, anyway, we're honored, or I am, that you wanted to stay in my treehouse. So anyway, be sure there's a book up here on the right. Make sure you guys sign it. Does that work? Really? Thank All you. Right. Thank you. And let me shake your hand again. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Nice to meet you. All right. Hi. How are you? Hi, little one. How are you? You see my birdies? How are you doing? You want to give me a hug? It's been a little while. It's been a while. I about forgot about who you was. Goodness. Hey. hey! Hey, how you how doing? You? All living the dream. Oh, good. Yeah. good to you. Oh, well, it's good to see you. Wait, guys. You what, where's all the time? I like it. I mean, not that my opinion matters. But. Are you kidding me? This one, I got it all cut off, and she's looking at me. She's giving me the stank face. So I don't like it. Oh, <laughs> so funny. Okay. Well, you guys eating? Yeah, yeah. we're eating. Okay. All right. That's the best gravy I've had anywhere. And I got all the gravy off my plate I could get with the fork. And if I was at home, I'd lick it off. That's how good it was. How about that? Of course, you've already talked to me plenty. You really want to talk to Dad, right? Well, I just thought since uh, you're in some of the videos every now and then, it's the first time I met your dad and he was here and uh, thought you uh, introduce your dad to all the viewers, Mike. Gerald Lee. Yeah. Lives in Carthage, Tennessee. Comes out here every time he every time he gets a chance to come up and stay with me and this time he's up here to uh pick beans, I guess. Pick think. beans, yeah. Who, now you growing beans or who's growing beans? I grew some beans. Yeah, so he's gonna help you pick beans today? Uh he did last night. He actually uh, we broke up some beans. I actually pulled the whole bean plant up. So what the story is is I I had some deer get in my garden, put a fence around it, and um to keep him out. Never had to do that before. So I fenced the deer out and also fenced myself out and it kind of grew up and got weed so I just pulled all the bean plant up and 
that was what was picking beans was about. Now, did you teach him how to garden like that? Yeah, yeah, all three of my kids, they've all got garden. They got a better garden than I have. So oh, yeah? They, they, uh, they do it. They, they grow a lot of, lot of stuff. They so, so what was Mike like as a kid growing up? Was he a cut up? Uh, a little bit. He's, uh, he, he, he worked pretty good, though, huh? Good worker. Yeah, yep. Did y'all have a? Did you have a farm or a garden? Or? Yeah, we've uh, we've all, we've got several farms around. Just to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Have cows. And used to have. I grew up on farm, and uh, uh, we still got a few places we can uh, we can do a little farming. But I enjoy it, and it's uh, probably one of the best things that ever happened to me with me and grow up out in the country. Got to work a lot, but. Uh, that's that's what farming's all about. Oh yeah, a lot of work, but uh, it pays off, and it's kind of a, getting to be a lost art now. I don't think yeah. a lot of people know how to. Not many how to family grow their farms. Food. Not many family farms like family growing stuff no more. It's more commercialized a lot now. It's big farms, you know. Yeah, it's, it's gotten too. Uh, it's gotten a little bit too commercial. Yeah. Of course, now stuff you get out of your garden and you raise your own beef and pork and stuff like that, chickens. It's it's a whole lot better food than what you get out of because they have to. Of course, they have to ship it, and it's uh, it loses a lot of its, uh, oh, its yeah. nutrients and stuff. So it's it's good for you to eat that garden stuff. But it's, I grew up on it, and uh, it's just a it's just kind of a fading way of uh, of life, I guess. The 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 family farm or the family even the family garden. A lot of people didn't have a farm used to garden. They don't have a garden no more. No, no they, you know. But that's uh, that was the main uh, their main income, you know. When up, we had to raise chickens and, and pigs and calves and uh, whatever. Yeah, growed everything from strawberries to tobacco. So it's uh, you get a good round, uh, good good education growing growing stuff. If you have to, if you depend on it for your food supply and depend on it for your money crop, but well, it's uh, it's a little bit more more important to you. Yep. But now, it'd be nice if a lot of the younger people today could. Uh, there's too much work in that now. Well, now, they, they, <laughs> it'll keep you out of trouble, though, when you're growing up. <laughs> if it hadn't been for the farm and uh, that stuff, I guess I might have gotten in trouble. Right? How about Mike? Do you ever get in trouble? Ah, uh, no. No, they come in, him trouble. and his brother come in and tell, tell the mama what they got into and said, tell her to tell, tell me when I got in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> but no, they got a few things, but they would uh, they would come in and tell me the, what they did. Well, you know he's he's the he's the car parker during the shows. He's the one that checks everybody in, takes yeah. the money, and yeah. he's got an official shirt that's what's it say, crew staff. 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 That's right, staff yeah. shirt. You get so. respect whenever you come out here and you got a shirt. You got. I mean, oh yeah, yeah, they know you're not just out here running around. He's got his own. Uh, he does that though, about everywhere he goes. Oh, he just takes over. Well, no, he's uh. He's real good at getting along with people. He knows how to horse trade. Horse trade, yeah. That's it's something that's kind of a lost art. Right, now. Well, I'm, I'm, Nowadays, I'm, everybody's I'm doing this, you know. On their phones, yeah. And they can't, uh, they can't deal well, with Well, I was kind of upset with Mike today. I, I've talked to him about mules before, and then I find out he's been here at this uh, AGMA. What's that stand American for? American Gated Mule Association. 31st annual, and he was there. Huge deal. And he did not even tell me that it was going on or I had to come film that mule yeah. event. Not only was I there, I, I was the announcer. The yeah. He was the announcer, and yeah. he, he knows I make videos, and we've talked about mules before, and well, I told him yeah. I want to film mules, and he just well, completely see, left me out. He didn't uh, He didn't let me be his agent. He Stress. I, I, I volunteered to be his agent. <laughs> he's uh, He just took off without me, you know. A lot of stress going on, and sometimes I can't remember everybody. Yeah, yeah well, yeah, okay. We'll let you slip this time. It'll happen next year, though. No, the, th the 32nd, uh, 32nd. I want to be there. Gated mules. Uh, I want to be there and yeah. see what's going on. Big deal. Down at Harriman at that Brown State uh, indoor big uh, arena place. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Good stuff. He's been big in the mule and horse. Bed. We, we used to raise walking horses quite a bit. So oh, yeah. We, we've been in the horse and cow bed. That's yeah. where I got the, uh, you know, I always measure the pancakes. Yeah. So back in the day, I had, uh, this is off the license plate of uh well, let's see, that Jeep right over there. Yeah. So, the state of Tennessee, you can get a walking horse license. Oh, okay, plate. yeah, I see that. Thing right there. Yeah. So, I scanned that. Instead of giving a cap or a t-shirt whenever you bought a horse from me, um, you got a tape measure. Zippo Lighter Company, this was my farm down in Carthage, made these, which kind of quit selling horses. Uh, I've still got some, but that's what, uh, you know, whenever you get a pancake, 
Maybe it looks a little small. Maybe it's not the spec. You've always got tape measure. There you go. Throw the measuring tape uh, on there. You, you, that may or may not help you with the staff, with the with the management here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> if you say something about the size, he, uh, he brings us. He, do, do you know he brings us uh, rulers so he can measure the pancakes, make sure he don't get he cheated. Does, he does a lot of things like that. But the, that's uh, the whole family's kind of that way. Oh okay. So he, <laughs> technical. He, he's technical. A, technical. He's, he's just a chip <laughs> off of the old block. There. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well. Enjoyed it. Like some other some other guys over there that uh, eat breakfast with us there. They see we have the there's the meeting at the breakfast table and then there's the after meeting yeah. in the parking lot. Sometimes we, everything don't get said. It's poking at the table and it spills over into the in the parking lot. That's what's happening. I see them coming out. They've all ate and cleared the table. Yeah. Time and time again. All the time. All the time. You ever just meet somebody for the very first time in a place? and you watched something on TV or watched it on a video like here and you already feel like you know them and that, that's when I talked to her and then she let me take a picture of her my buddy took a picture of her and he's going to put it on his printer and, print, and send it to me because he's from Michigan Yeah, <laughs> I've been wanting to come here for over a year Oh well. and when he came in he said what are we going to do that was what we we're going to do we came here well how about that I've had so, today's been the best day I've had in three years. <laughs> well, how about that? That's wonderful. It is. It you get is. to come down, hang out with your buddies, and come yeah. meet some uh, place you've one, been watching the on YouTube. One fellow there with me. I told. I said earlier in there we've been friends for 63 years, but we're both 68 years old. We've been friends since we were two years old. Well, how about that? <laughs> we've, had so, some, we've had such a good time. <laughs> early, there's your, there's your buddies over there wandering yeah, around. <laughs> 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 don't leave me. Nah, that's all right. Now, yeah, I'm retired. I don't have any <laughs> Let me get set down here. You can go. <laughs> you sit here waiting on a, get your bologna sandwich, huh? Y'all waiting on bologna sandwiches? Yes, we are. They got yeah. them coming. Yes, so now, yeah. did you did you ride your bike over here today? or? Did uh, no, you I just, left in Knoxville. In Knoxville, yeah, so. I had a chauffeur over here today. Yeah? Find a gentleman right here. Well, how about that? So yeah. what you, what do you think about this little old store? We love it. Yeah? We, 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 we talked about doing it yesterday, and I said, so just said today i'm glad we come yeah yeah we've enjoyed it one thing we said we gotta get up early to get the gravy and biscuits yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it was <laughs> worth four, it getting up four o'clock this morning <laughs> four o'clock ready to go <laughs> i got up before and i called don and but i called you about what six yeah and after, so just got him going six <laughs> i got up ten to five i didn't want to miss it <laughs> i retired five years ago and i still don't know how to not get up <laughs> i know i'm not going to work but i'm still going to get up <laughs> I was a little disappointed in missing my breakfast at the motel because I didn't have time, but I'm glad I did miss it. Come here and have some biscuits and gravy. <laughs> so we didn't get to talk to you in there. Who all, who all you bring with you? To, with? I've got my father with me, uh -huh. Keith Pierce, and my son, Nathaniel Pierce. Well, let me say hi trip. to them. Spending some time together. How you doing today? Good, fine. How's it going? Good. How'd you like the old store? Do what? Did you like the store today? The, oh, yeah. Yeah. Who did Y'all come from North Carolina over here? Winston Salem, North Carolina. Yeah, I was over there back in February or yeah. March, maybe, that in that area, yeah. So, yeah, I love it. North Carolina is about just about like Tennessee. Got maybe a little bit more mountains, I guess. Very, very similar, very yeah. similar. Yeah, there's it's a lot of old stores over here. there, too. Yeah, there is. I like North Carolina. Well, you know, uh, Tennessee used to be a part of North Carolina. Oh, really? Yeah, right. yeah. I did not know. It did. During the Revolutionary War, after it was over, North Carolina owed their part of the taxes to uh, the government so they cut off tennessee and gave it to the government and for their part of the war tax for the war so yeah so Very we we're a part of north carolina originally okay <laughs> how about that we're all family yeah, we are <laughs> that's why it's all just a bit looks so familiar you know <laughs> well guys i appreciate you coming out and and uh it looks like you got you an apple pie yeah, going on there. <laughs> <laughs> Where y'all heading to from here? Like Don't know. We're just enjoying the ride together. We're well, going that's to way get good. some of the spots we've seen in your videos and uh, and uh, just enjoy the ride. No no particular destinations. So well, that's the best way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Open that door, Nathaniel. <laughs> He's hiding back there. <laughs> Well, what are you into? Oh, you've been to Bucky's. 
Yeah. How about that? Went by there and visited that spot. I guess you went to the one in Crossville. Uh, or, yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. We did. Yep. I, got, I yep. made a video about that. Yeah, yep. yeah. I saw that video. Yeah. yeah. So we had to go check it out. Of course, we had to get a little evidence that we were there. Yeah, I see. You got, <laughs> you've been caught. You've been caught <laughs> red-handed with yep. two beavers yep. there. Yep. <laughs> well, guys, I'll let you get on Thank down the road. So nice meeting you all. Appreciate you coming by today. We really enjoy your videos, man. Thank you. Thank for you. Bye-bye. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm doing good. Where y'all from? I'm from Lansing. I'm from around here. Oh, yeah? This is my sister, Dee Dee. This is Linda. And I'm Belinda. Belinda? Yeah. Well, ladies, have you ever been here before? It's the first time here. Well, what do you think about the store so far? I love it. Love it. I was just telling them, I'm glad for the reason we're here. <laughs> hey, okay, from watching the videos? Oh, yes, and I love your videos. I absolutely love them. I've enjoyed every one of them. Well, thank and you. And Tiffany's the sweetest thing. Uh, she I is. feel like I know her and Katie and, he, and <laughs> Mimi and all of them. Yeah. And John. Me yeah. And John. Yeah. But we, uh, I think that I have been here before, years and years ago. My daddy traveled, um, and we did uh, consignments in these little markets okay and so i was probably six seven years old now what did your daddy sell he sold potato chips and and little bags of peanuts oh. and drinks and just candy bars oh i'm sure like that y'all were and here then probably candy, candy yeah that we always put in the jars and stuff and I so was, you travel with your dad to do that huh I so did. you was in a bunch of little stores then wasn't I you i was because we went to several we yeah. went to all over the place but I remember this store, I think, particularly because of the bologna sandwiches and the cheese that they sliced when right. I was so little. And the water, they had a little dipper that we would get water out of <laughs> in that little dipper. And I was always thirsty. Everybody, everybody used the same dipper back in, didn't they? They did. They did. <laughs> but I was so happy when he stopped every time. I was like, I was so happy. Either he starved me or I was just really hungry. It was a really good sandwich. <laughs> uh, yeah. Good memories, too, yeah, right? Very good memories. Yeah. But we, uh, and I've worked in some of his little stores too before. Oh yeah? So yeah, we, uh, he had, he would start up little stores and I I actually ran the cash register when I was nine. Nine years old. How about that? <laughs> so I've been watching, like you've got another store that, uh, it's out by, uh, down past the, uh, the prison. About 11 miles from Brushy Mountain. What's that little store? Oh, yeah. New River Market? New River Market. Yeah. I want to go there next. Yeah. Um, because I've enjoyed all of your shows. But it just brings back a lot of memories because I have uh, some really good memories with him doing that. So. Well, the the store, those stores, people as kids remember them going in and buying the candy and, and yes. getting things. So it brings back brings back a lot of memories, it the does. stores there. And there's not many of them left no more. No. About I, a lot of those ones that you used to put stuff in is no longer around, no, are they? No, they're not. And, and I just... Yeah, I know we, I, I, I go past a lot of stores on the side of the roads and I think, oh, I think that used to be a little store we used to stop at and it's not there anymore. But I do remember a lot of when I was when I was little. But what impressed me with Tiffany is just her spirit and her prayers. <laughs> she just amazes me. But yes, I, I love the store, love the history, love that it's been here, and I, I'm glad she's opened it back up. Because Absolutely, it's yeah. Awesome. We gotta, Cause I've got a lot of good memories of stopping at these little places, so it's neat. It brings back so many memories, seeing a lot of the pictures and stuff. I was like, we had that picture in our house. We had that Some of the old, <laughs> yes. You know, so it brings back a lot of good memories. It's a post office. Being here, I mean the old post office. Yeah, it's just like it pretty much was the day it shut down. All right, all right, I love that. And I remember the water pump out there. I remember that because our Daddy would, when we would stop, I was always hungry and thirsty. I was six and seven years old at least, and I would help him. We would go to actually we would go to Atlanta, Georgia, to H. T. Hackney's, fill the station wagon up from the back of the station wagon seat all the way to the window. And we'd come and go around to all these little general stores, and, and he would sell to them. Well, I, and it was so neat. We'd put the little, uh, I helped him do the candy bars and, and all the little chips and peanuts and whatever they were selling or whatever they were buying from us at the time. And he always bought me that bologna and cheese sandwich, which was awesome. <laughs> so I ordered one of her Tiffany sandwiches today just for that reason. Well, I'll try to film it when she brings it out here in a minute. Awesome. That'd be great. <laughs> Well, it's good to meet you, John. You're doing a great job, too. Well, I love, thank you. I love what you're doing because I've enjoyed every, I've not missed one of your 
show since you started, I don't think. Well, I appreciate that so much. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice work on the board here. Thank you. Thank you. So what'd you do? Get egg on it? Let's see what you got, got here. The Tiffany special. Everything. Yep. The whole works. I can't wait to try it. Well, I'll try to catch you before y'all leave. I've been watching all these people that's coming from miles, hundred miles away, like what, 1,700 miles that I hear. Different places and from all over, yeah. yeah they already give me a sandwich, so I was like, I got good for the Well, you made it today. I did. Thank Enjoy you. it. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay, thanks. Okay, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle. Yeah, you, got you got jalapenos over there, too. Okay. They're, they are hand cut. You better get a french fries. <laughs> They're fresh fries. All right. You get and you guys can get your drinks over there, and we'll call your name when it's ready. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. All right. Twenty three fifty five. Let's go to John's table this time. Thank you, and I'll make another order, guys. Pardon, over here. All right, so we're talking inside. Tell us again where y'all from. We're from Gainesboro, Tennessee. Gainesboro, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And you live down in Gainesville, too? Yes, sir. So you mile down the road, blow him. So you two are brothers. Two brothers. And your names is what? Roy Head and Ro Richard Head. Roy and Richard and... Pam. Pam. Judy. And Judy. Okay. So you just come out. What did you think about the Richard store today? Oh, it's nice. nice Thank nice God we've been watching on YouTube for a while. And just yeah? Got up here. Yeah? Well, you like the way it's still original like it is? Yeah. And, yeah. Yes, School of history, food was great, food was good. Pretty drive today and wanted to see the campground because we camp too and just really been watching you for a while now and just really wanted to come see it. Well, I'm glad you made it up. You just drove up here in this old junky looking Jeep right here. I <laughs> yeah. You. yeah, it barely made it. But <laughs> we were talking about that there. You've really got her fixed up. You've both got nice Jeeps here. Yeah. So, well, guys, I just wanted to come out and see what you thought about the uh, store and uh, look at your Jeeps for a minute. I stepped out here and saw them. I thought, boy, those some nice looking Jeeps you guys are sporting around in today. Well, we appreciate it. Yeah, we love being here. Well, you all have a good I trip. We'll be back. And <laughs> shake y'all's right. hands here and yeah. appreciate you Thank showing you. up today. Keep watching them videos for us. Make sure to leave us a comment now. All right. Okay, sure. we'll see y'all next time. Uh, so, was everything good? It was wonderful. Best good. sandwich I've ever had. Oh, <laughs> you're so sweet. Tell me again where you guys are from. I'm from Lansing, uh, originally from Rockwood, but uh, I, I, when I started watching the videos, I was like, oh, I know Miss Linda. I don't really know her well, but I know her and I know who she is. And Tiffany, just I just fell in love with you. Fell you're in love so with sweet. the store, fell in love <laughs> with all the videos and Oh, John does a good job. Well, your personality is what makes it, I think. Thank and the you. prayers. Yes, I, prayers. I love to pray loved, for people. Loved what you do that. So oh. that made, that meant a lot to me. There was a, when we had our little store, there was a, projects was being built. So Daddy found out he could like do breakfast and lunch for the men that worked. Mm -hmm. So I would have to go in at four in the morning and make like 50 biscuits, um, bacon, you know, um, sausage, bologna, and egg sandwiches for them. So they would come in before 6.30, 7 o'clock and get their sandwiches. And then they would leave and go to work and come back for lunch. So as soon as they left, I would start lunch, which was about what I see you doing back there behind the counter. So mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I've done that. <laughs> and it's not <laughs> easy work, It's not it? easy work. It's hard, it's hard work. It well, that's interesting because my great-grandfather built this store because of the state workers. Right. That's the story I've always been told. Right. And... Um, and so his whole purpose was to service them, and he thought it would be a good business move. Mm -hmm. So that's how it started. And then the community just yeah. kind of started coming, and then the post office, and then, you know, they would have all the needs of everybody in the community. Yeah. So that's interesting. It's kind of the and same. And I was thinking about, like, the chip that. people. You know, I recently, my chip guy is no longer coming, but that's the same way they would do. They go and stock up, mm -hmm. and then, you know, and I would get my own chips for a long time at Sam's, and then when they started... Somebody came to me, I think, 
But anyway, and so I thought, you know, that's one less thing I have to worry about getting. Mm-hmm. So I started having them cut. Yeah. But um, I, they, the last time they were here, that was the last time they were going to come. Mm-hmm. So, but they would yeah. do the same thing. Yeah. They would go and stock up and then distribute did. it around mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. So. We did that for a long, long time. Give you guys some hugs. Yeah, yes, Katie will probably hugs. be like, Thank what was your name? So Delilah or Dee Dee? Oh, Dee Dee. Delilah, that's for you. Belinda. Belinda. And I love you. Love and I want you. you to pray for me because I do need prayers. Okay, I will. We all good. We all good. Sorry. Turn it off. Yeah, but it's good. Aw. How are you? Good. Okay. Hungry. Hungry. Well, them girls have fixed you up. I know. I know. <laughs> um, so, anyway, but he tells in there about... Um, Come on in here. Um, he tells about... My grandfather gets to talk and he's taking them around the back, which doesn't really look like it does now. And, um, I mean, it does, but it was a lot more credit. Come on in. Hi, guys. Hi. And um, he says somewhat like this. He says, so this is Aro, my grandfather. He says, um, well, I'm hoping the kids will come back one day and, like, take it over and do, like, a crack, Cracker Barrel type atmosphere, da, da, da. And I like to fell over on my couch because I didn't know that. Right. And so it's kind of really interesting how that has... Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. and right. so so anyway, but yes, I love it. I love the stories. Hey, hi. How are you doing today, John? We're doing good. Very good. We're always doing good when we're at the R.M. Brooks General Store. That's that's exactly right. I tell you what, I'm getting a lot of. I'm becoming known as Miss Tiffany's mom. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So. Well, your, ident- your identity's though been around for a long, long time. <laughs> yes, so it, has been. Been. <laughs> yes, it has been. Yes, it has been around for a long time. Been. She, uh, the great is awesome. I, th- I agree with that. It is. I, I, oh, your mom. Yeah. She has great. We love your mom. <laughs> oh my gosh, she has great gables. That house is so pretty. Yeah. Hey, I'm the door opener today. I'm not cooking. Come <laughs> <on>. <laughs> I'm, I'm going in. I'm getting in. She said it's nice to see you again, mom. Nice to see you. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Good. How are you? Good to see you. I've watched you on YouTube many times. I've never seen you face to face. Here I am. I guess I can. Oh, hey. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you two? Oh, my gosh. Bless my heart today. It's going to be fun full. And you brought people with you. Hello. How you doing? Father, that you give us another day here on this earth, Father God.
better stop it. We're glad to see you guys. It's wonderful. How we doing? Good. Okay. Mm, how are you? Very good. All right. I got to I gotta get back on the grill. Um, looks like you brought some friends with you today. We did. They were doing a benefit ride. We thought we'd ride along with them today. Well, great. So they've got, of course, the outdoor show going on in Wartburg today. And, and a good event for Wartburg and Morgan County. And they're doing a benefit ride. We thought we would join them and uh, ride part of the way. And then we've got some other commitments in the district. Excuse me. So I think the last time we talked to you was running for state representative. Is it, that right? I was. And I do remember we had a good conversation out here in this park a lot. We did. Uh, That's a motorcycle? We did. We put a lot of miles on the motorcycle since then. Well, congratulations we on uh, winning the seat there. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I, I've really enjoyed it. It's been a good opportunity to help serve this not only our communities and our, our district, but our state. Absolutely. Well, looks like they're going to be making some hamburgers and bologna sandwiches in here. I don't know what the plan is. They might get them something <laughs> to eat. Good. Hello, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Getting out. There you go. Good door for you. Have y'all been watching the videos? Yes, my son-in-law, Scotty, found it. And he, he said, watches YouTube. Oh, um, he's got to find and listen to this. So I watched it all the way here. And oh, like, oh, so. And he said, we got to go there. I'm like, okay, let's go. So well, there's we 20 went. videos just of this store over the last two years. Really? Yeah, 20 and then a couple hundred other videos of other places. So We just had watched the one. We're also from there today, too, the, the uh, the other Charlie's store, Branch. Charlie's yes. Branch. Oh, yes. we watched that video. Yeah. Yes, we're going there. Well, that's so, what, so, see, you're quite popular. Well, you'll have to get uh, <laughs> get it GPS before you get there because yeah. once you get cut out that way, you're gonna have no GPS. This is my friend Darlene. Hello. Hi. Hello. She lives in Monterey. Yes. And uh, this is what she's getting into doing for a living. And so. <laughs> John Holcomb uh, bought five of these, yes, and I am to bless anybody I want to today with them. So, yeah. anyway, she's going to bring some more in, and I, I have three more in the car. Yeah, I yep. wanted uh, y'all to meet her and come on in. And uh, so, John, maybe you can get to talk to her briefly about who she is. So, okay. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you. They're so Do you like them? Um, anyway, I don't think I John. So I don't try putting them together, so I hope you really like no, them. No, they're it's beautiful. Kind of, it's kind of hard to beat, you know, daisies. And no, they're beautiful. Lotion. Aren't those pretty? Look at them. That's my love language. Flowers. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Well, go get the rest of them. Yes, and I am. Anyway. Will yeah. that work? All right. Okay. Oh, busy, busy. Oh, look, John. Somebody. Look at this. Somebody blessed us with some donuts today. Anyway. Okay. Uh, go get the rest of them, sissy, and then he'll find you. Yeah. Hi, ladies. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. Can we pick so up lunch to go? This is Tiffany. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're going to let Darlene bring her other flowers. Okay. How you doing, John? I'm doing good. We discovered this place because of you. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. Why, why are you doing it? Well, we this, we try to show people these old stores where they're all gone, you know. Oh yeah, we just talking about stuff like that. Not many left. Okay. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I have some more. <laughs> <laughs> I had to put them in a box because sis can't hold three jars at once. I might yeah. just have to take them all home. <laughs> just set them, I'm just kidding. Just keep them for yourself. <laughs> Okay, just set them on the floor right there and then. Bye, guys. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. It's pretty crazy. I'm good. I'm good. I have. It, it's, I'm good. Yeah. So, all is good. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, today is not about me. It's about you. Okay. So, anyway, you go to the doctor Wednesday? Yes. Okay. Wednesday morning, we go to Vanderbilt. Okay. Yeah. So. And we're expecting a good report. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're always expecting a good report. And, yeah. You know, but yeah. This Wednesday, especially, I had my second resection. Oh, it looks good, though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, about three weeks ago. And so, we're expecting good results so far. Um, but yeah, things are good. Things are good. No doubt. It's a struggle, I know, because I'm going through some things myself. Yes, I know. But you're like, 
Hmm. But I keep being reminded about praising him. Yeah. And I keep reminding I'm being reminded about what his promises say. Yeah. And we have mm-hmm. to remember that and as hard as it is, and I am speaking this to myself as well as you, that we have to take those thoughts captive. So when that doubt wants to come in, and I can I can feel it, so and it's okay. Mm-hmm. You have to take it captive. Mm-hmm. That's right. So that is right. That's so right. It's here, <laughs> and it's here. Okay. Oh. It is. You serve a mighty God. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know I do. I know we all do. <laughs> right? Well, this is my friend Darlene. Hey, Darlene. Hello, Anna. Nice how are you? I'm good. How are you? And so I want her to pray with us if that's okay. Yes, absolutely. And uh, so, anyway. Well, I'll stand up. No, no, you sit down. Sit down. Sit down. I like the hot seat. I like the hot seat. Can I sit down next to you? Absolutely. Darling, let's you get on that other side. Come on. Hi. And this is his beautiful wife, Dee Dee, Dee Dee, and uh, and and family. Yes. Tim and Michelle. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I, you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Listen. Good report. Good report. It's all you're accepting. Nothing less. Because he sent his son to die on the cross for your stripes. He bore a stripe for you and you alone. Okay. It's okay because he sees and he knows all things about us. And he sees that. But you have to do your part and trust him in this blind trust. And I know because I'm walking through it, a blind trust. But we have to know that we know. Mm -hmm. And I can feel it. I can feel Mm -hmm. it. And and it's okay. He sees and he understands. Mm -hmm. But his word says where two or three are in agreement. He's in the midst. So he's here, and we're going to lift you up. And you're going to walk in there with confidence and knowing. No doubt. You serve a mighty God, and he loves you that much. All right? So, no doubt. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. No (laughs) doubt. All right. Father, we just thank you for today, Father. I thank you that you are such a good Father, that you see everything about us, Father. And you know that he is going for this report on Wednesday, Father God. And so we stand and expect. We are calling it out, Father. You said your promises are yes and amen, Father. And you said that by when you sent your son to die on the cross, that by his stripes, we are healed. And so he is healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, I command You're anything in the midst that is of that not fire, Father God, and that he will be purified and come forth as gold. As your word says, Father. So we thank you for that right now, Father God. And it's in the name of Jesus, I pray. I don't think we're done. Let's pray for her. Absolutely. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yeah. We'll do. So, thank you. We're going to continue to pray for you. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Thank you very much for that too. Thank you so much. You're such a blessing. Wednesday. 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 We're getting a good report. 10, we'll 10, 10, 15. Wednesday, 10 15. Yes, yes, ma'am. Vanderbilt. Yep. I know it is. Yeah, I know it is. Yeah. Either way, it's going to be good. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be good either way. <laughs> it's going to be good either way. <laughs> <laughs> For all of us. I understand. We know where yeah. we're going. So. Yeah. Anyway, you guys are yeah. so precious. So Thank you so much. So if I cue myself, will you text me? I will. Absolutely. I'm going to go write it down. Okay. Okay. That's great. Thank okay. you so Thank much. Thank you so much. So tell, where are y'all from then? <laughs> Chipley, Florida. Florida? Mm-hmm. Now what are y'all doing up, up, up here in Tennessee? We're up here visiting our daughter from Kentucky. Oh. And we've been watching you y'all on, good? on YouTube videos for about a year now. And we just love it here. We've done come up here once and tried the bologna sandwich and then i just had the tiffany which was amazing well how about that <laughs> yeah i noticed your shirt when you came in now when i uh when i watch uh, youtube uh vice grip garage and uh vice grip lodge which is kind of behind the scene with derek uh derek uh 
gets old cars that's not been running for years and gets mm -hmm. them started and going. It's a pretty interesting show. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, he loves it. I do, yeah. too. He's actually restoring his, him an old truck right now. Oh, yeah. How about I, that? I kind of do the same thing on a smaller scale. Right? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, it's uh, good to meet other people that like uh, Vice Grip Garage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good to meet people that watch our videos, too, oh, yeah, on yeah, yeah. What's Appalachian Channel. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, glad y'all came down today. Absolutely. Right. We enjoyed it. Thank y'all right. so much. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, y'all watched the videos and came up. Yes, and sir. So, been here several times now, yeah. huh? Yes, we sir. Have. We love coming here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, well, how about that? So, it's just uh, kind of a unique store, ain't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a very unique store. I mean, this is one of the last of the... Mm -hmm general stores that's out there you know i mean of course we passed what was thelma's or something mm -hmm. thelma's yeah yeah we did right here but um yeah but there's nothing that compares to this one well know. it's not just that it's got a lot of history but you've got tiffany here too you make yeah. it special too oh, you know? she always oh, makes it special oh, very special i know she does she cares a lot about her customers and likes to make sure if they need prayer she prays for them yeah yes, that's always. it that's it she sure does we appreciate well, thank you. It. Yes, we, we really we do. Really, really yep. do. I mean, right? You're preserving history, really. So. Yep, you yep. are preserving history. Well, we just try to show the uh, beauty of the Appalachian area and the people. You know, yeah. beautiful people and beautiful area. Oh, this has been a great thing to mm -hmm. me. It's it's brought you know light to a lot of different eyes that would never you know normally never not get it. it. Yeah. So, look, you got a lot of elderly people and. You just got a lot going on, and that's a good thing. Yeah, well, people can watch it whether they can get out of their house or not. You know, I do get comments of people saying that they can't travel or don't travel anymore, but uh, they enjoy getting to watch. You just yep. bring it right to them. Yep. Well, I'll let you do whatever you're doing. Right, Look here. Do you know this guy here? Yep. Here. Yeah. Look here. I recognize him from This, this is Andrew. You got, you got that thing off? Yeah, it's off. <laughs> it's, it's always off, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I saw I saw somebody post a picture not too long ago with a picture of you. They got a picture of you and posted it right here. They got a picture of you to put on their Facebook page. Hey, Matt, Matt Andrew. I don't think so. I do. I saw it. <laughs> they they come all the way up here, and uh, Andrew's become one of the uh, local fixtures in our videos. He does work around here for Tiffany Mowen and oh, taking care of things that's broke or needing fixed. So that's what he does. So he trades out for a little bit of food and a little bit of cash. Coke. And a Coke. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You're going to weed eat? Yeah. And I blow grass on your camper, but there wasn't no hose. She said you forgot the hose. Yeah, you got a hose? We need one. I have a farm, I don't have one out here. <laughs> we ran off a water hose uh, for a camper. I've been using it on our property. and uh, uh, yeah. I didn't roll it back up and take it with us. and So we couldn't hook to the water, but I had water in the tank, so That's we good. might make it. <laughs> yeah. Well, old Andrew, he's always like, don't be filming me now. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize him. He don't, don't, yeah, well, I recognize him. You, yeah. you, you ain't filming me, are you? <laughs> I said, no. He knows better. <laughs> <laughs> right. But he, he, now, he grew up here. I oh, mean, he remembers from being a little yeah. big kid coming okay. here. So. Yeah, I remember hearing his back story kind of a little yeah, bit. Yeah, him and his son. He don't. He got big farm not far from here. Oh, okay. Where are you from? You from around here? Uh, I'm from La Follette, not oh, far. Okay. Yeah, about an hour uh, east. Go through Scott County. And so you just County. go around and you're trying to preserve all the old places in East Tennessee or what? Well, not just East Tennessee, but anywhere we can find an old general store. I've been okay. into Virginia. I just made one in Virginia last week, or this okay. week I posted, Monday of Montgomery, uh, general store. And uh, so the general stores are far between. So, yeah, we're going to start traveling a lot more. We've yeah. been to North Carolina, uh, filmed some over there. There's quite a few here in uh, Tennessee, and I'm heading to Kentucky to do some. It's just a matter of getting there, you know. Where y'all from? El Paso. El Paso? Yeah. Well, how about that? That's a pretty good trip out here. Yeah. Yes, sir. It was a long trip. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing in Tennessee? Visiting people? or Visiting family. Family. Mm -hmm. Well, glad y'all stopped by today. <laughs> mm -hmm. So are we. What at all? I want to give these to you. Oh, you would? Yeah, yeah. I love them. So, uh, you? there is a gentleman, his name is uh, John, and he uh, had a friend of mine bring up. 
supposed to bless people with whoever I felt like I was supposed to. And when I came up to the counter, you have such a sweet little spirit. She's got such a sweet spirit. So I wanted to bless you with those. Well, thank you. Well, actually, my mother was Do you want to pick one? Here. Okay. Where y'all from? Florida. Florida. Okay. Yeah. You want to talk to Kurt? Yeah. yeah. Sure. He's the to you. She really? said. She said you were the talker in the family. So. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. So y'all from Florida? Well, we're originally from Minnesota, but we live in Florida. Now. Okay. So, yeah, we've been down there about seven years full time. So. What brings you to Tennessee today? Actually, uh, seen us on YouTube. Oh, really? Okay. So, we, I was a campground host to, for the Army Corps Engineers down in Stewart. And then, so I had a lot of downtime, so I was watching, like, YouTube videos. Right, and, yeah. And uh, come across R.M. Brooks. And you wanted to come check it out? We did, we did yes. We ended up down here. We drove down from uh, just north of um, Louisville this morning. So, okay. kind of on our way down. So, back home. Well, glad you just made it down. Well, thank you. So, what do you think about the store so far? I love it. I love these old stores. So, it's full of antiques and all. And it's been here since 1920, correct? Yeah, they started about 1917, maybe not right in this exact location, but they moved here in the early 20s, I believe, so. Great. So, yeah, it's been family ever since, the same family. Amazing. I think Tiffany's fourth or fifth generation. Great. Great. Wonderful gal. Beautiful place, I love it. Well, it's it's, it's old and... uh, you know, but it's beautiful in its its age, the way it's original. Exactly. You know, it's not yeah. been restored. Okay. Exactly. So keep it. I like it uh, just like it is. You know. Mm-hmm. I like it. So now, what was your name? Jen. Jen and Kurt. Kurt. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're gonna be staying in the campground. We are. So we're gonna you stay overnight tonight. Yeah. Right? You've yeah. been camping some and places We've on the way. We've been uh, camping for the last three months. Oh, really? We left Florida May 1st and drove all the way up to Alaska. To Alaska? We spent well, a, how about that? We spent about a month. Uh, Alaska. So last week, John bought, Darlene brought five bouquets for all the girls here. Aww. So anyway, since Kelly's working with us today, I felt like Kelly needed uh, some flowers. So anyway, and that brought one, some that lady loved that. She was so sweet. sweet. So anyway, okay, well, we got one more to give away before tonight's over with. All right, so this is my dear friend, Darlene Owen. Um, She is getting into, wanting to transition into a business where she sells plants and flowers. Yeah. And so you've heard me say it several times today, but John Holcomb. Yes, I love John. John knows I love flowers, and so he actually got in contact with Darlene. And and so today he's bought some flowers for me to bless people with. And so tell them a little bit about where you live and what you do. So I live in Monterey and um, I, yeah, I started getting into flowers um, last year, but this year was really when I started to take it seriously and tried to kind of do a a business with it. And I'm starting slow. I mean, it's just me at home. So my husband helps me, but um, I'm the one that, you know, cuts them and puts them together. And I do work a full-time job. So trying to like navigate all of that can be a lot. Um, So I started very, you know, I'm starting small scale, but um, I really enjoy doing this. I think there's something so beautiful about flowers and they really just make the ordinary days so much more fun. And um, I feel like it's also a way where I connect with the Lord. Um, Every time I look at one, I'm just like, there is absolutely no way that evolution just, you know, Exactly. That just that that just happened like that. Um, there's just such a beauty to them. So yeah, um, John Holcomb has been a great customer. Last week I was here with um, five orders, and then um, he messaged me a couple of days ago and asked me if I would do it again, um, if I would do five orders again. And so um, it's been such a blessing and such a joy to do it. And um, seeing you give them out, it's just it's so nice seeing people's faces. Yes. Like I'll just be in the background watching you give them away, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I did that, and you know just seeing their smiles it really mm-hmm. makes it worth it so we'll see where the lord takes it um i uh, i'm excited to see what what else uh, will come about this i'm growing some more stuff and then uh this has been such a good trial run though because next year i kind of have more of a, an idea of 
you know what else I want to add to it. So uh, we yeah. love we love to have girls. Uh, do, you, do you grow the flowers? Yes, I do. Exactly. Yes, grow them from from seed, and um, which there's been a lot of trial and error with that because. So I'm from California where you can just throw a seed and it'll grow. <laughs> but here, you know, having to do the research of getting to know your soil and all that, um, it's been quite the, the journey. But yeah, I grow these myself and um, I love it. It's so fun. Yep. It is so much fun. And, uh, they're, just, they're just beautiful. Well, we appreciate it. Hopefully she'll be bringing more. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> anyway. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, darling. You're very welcome. Okay. Oh! I was out there and I felt like it was like I Jody needs the last one. So anyway, them. so anyway, you're so beautiful and you oh, have, you are and you too. and you like are like right by the side and anyway, oh, I'm so gonna cry. God oh, bless you. Yeah. Flowers are amazing. Yes, they are. So anyway, the last flowers and this girl deserves some. So anyway, <laughs> all right. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Good. What are you driving there? I'm driving a 2019 slingshot. Well. Polaris slingshot. That's crazy. <laughs> crazy cool. Well, ladies, I think it's awesome that there's two women driving a cool vehicle like that. <laughs> Thank you all for watching another episode of R.M. Brooks' Door. We'll see you all next time. Woo! Woo! Woo!